Yeah, of course. Uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time, I guess, to be involved in the sport at this level. So um, certainly when the opportunity came up, obviously I did have to think about it with family and things. But, um, you know, I'm really excited by the challenge and, and jumped at the chance. So, yeah, absolutely. What are your strongest feelings about the security and coaching the women's uh, program? Uh, look, that was, that was a really enjoy an enjoyable experience. And I think, um, you know, I learned a lot through that, that three years. Um, and obviously having the chance to have a couple of years off and, and take stock, obviously, um, there's obviously things that I, I want to change and, and do better, and, but also things that I want to carry over from that time as well in terms of um, the culture building and that side of things. So really excited to have the opportunity again and um, yeah, really glad that the, the club's got faith in me to do that again. Do you think you come back a better coach? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I think... Um, you know, I probably um, didn't didn't take the time to, to smell the roses, I suppose, the first time around. So I guess with a bit of hindsight, um, obviously, you know, you've got to you got to you got to do the hard work, but um, spend the time to to enjoy it as well while you're doing that. And then at the end of the day, myself and the players have we've got to enjoy coming to work, I suppose. So I'll, I'll be bringing a bit of that, but um, obviously, expectations will be there in terms of what we expect from a behavioural and on-court standpoint. What areas do you think you have got better? At? Yeah, I think um, I've definitely learnt um, how to relate to my players better, I suppose. Having spent the last couple of years um, spending a bit more time coaching junior basketball and, and younger women um, has really enhanced my ability to do that. Um, obviously, from a technical standpoint, um, I've, I've had a chance to work with Anthony with the men's program a little bit over the last couple of years and, and do a couple of different things that have really expanded my horizons in that, in that respect. So definitely feel like I'm a better coach this time around, yeah. Do you have any key focuses coming into the season? Obviously, had a lean year to win the last Yep. What's going to be the main message? Well, the focus so far um, is definitely um, development. Um, so I'm really excited by um, the amount of, I guess, uh, junior talent that we have here in Hobart. Um, and they'll be given the chance to, to prove themselves and develop um, into, a, I guess, a long-term program for, for the club. Um, but in, in terms of players, I guess, locally, we'll, we'll be giving everyone the chance to, to put their hand up and say they want to be a part of it um, with the focus on, on development. So that'll be right off the bat where we'll be looking um, and then uh, and, we'll, and we'll work from there in terms of bringing in external players as well to support that. You've been in basketball and Tassie for a long time, is this the healthiest the game's been in, in your memory? Yeah, absolutely. As I said before, it's an exciting time for the sport generally, um, you know, whether you're looking at the jack jumpers or the chargers themselves who have you know, come out of the, the pandemic era um, looking really well um, and you know um, with WNBL potentially on the horizon as well it's a really exciting time for the sport. Participation is going through the roof so it's, um, it's a fantastic time to be involved. Do you think we'll see the best young sports talents always the decision will be the decision for you growing up which sports to play? Yep. Do you think we'll um, see the best uh, gravitate towards basketball now? Yeah, I think that, that tide's starting to turn that way. Obviously, particularly in the women's side of it, netball and, and, and women's football are particularly a challenge at the moment. Um, but I guess that's part of my role in this, in this position is to, to make the sport more attractive for those top-level athletes. And, and by putting in a culture um, you know, of development and, and, um, and continuous improvement, I think that, that's what's going to draw those high-level athletes to our sport and, and to our club. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I haven't been involved in those conversations so far, but um, yeah, absolutely. Having that aspirational aspect to the sport, um, I think, has definitely helped uh, on the men's side. Having the jack jumpers come into play, so I have no no reason to believe that wouldn't be any different for the females. And and if that's attainable, I think we should absolutely have a crack at it. Yeah.